Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my screencast review of Pixelmator which is a very low cost image editor for the Mac operating system. Now I'm going to show you the application running on screen, I just wanted to very quickly show you that they do also offer up a boxed version of the product as well as the download version that's available on their website. So let's crack on with showing you some of the features of Pixelmator. Welcome back, this is my screencast review of Pixelmator version 1.5. Now this is an alternative application to the likes of Photoshop and gone are the days when you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on an image editor from the likes of Adobe. Now this isn't going to be a full Photoshop replacement but certainly a lot of the features and a lot of the power that it provides are certainly adequate for most users. Now this is the main user interface, we have floating tools palette exactly like on the other applications with a whole host of tools that you can choose from and then floating layers inspection palette here and a good selection of brushes to choose from. The tool options palette changes depending on which tool you've got selected in your main toolbar. And you've also got a selection of pre-defined swatches here for quick selection of colours. Now the image I've got on screen here was taken with a Canon SX200 IS and I can use the marquee tool here to mark certain areas of the image. The keyboard shortcuts are the same using command D to get rid of that selection. I have a move tool here, magic wand and a lasso tool and then a familiar crop tool here so I can crop out an area of the image, hit return to crop to that selection. Then I have the a uh, very familiar pencil tool and brush tool as well as an eraser tool here and as you can see when I click on the tool the icon animates and then the tool options change here so I can choose the type of eraser I want to use. Then we have some gradient options and fill options as well as a smudge and sharpen tool. And then we have a picker so we can pick an area uh, on our photo here and it will go into the colour swatch palette here and then we can edit in standard mode or we can even use a quick mask mode which Pixelmator also offers. If we find all of our uh, desktop background and various icons here uh, distracting from the work at hand then we can switch to full screen mode and that gets rid of all those distractions so we can concentrate on image editing. The layers palette works much the same as the normal image editing applications that we're used to. If I had a text layer here and just simply type some uh, sample text onto the screen and this adds it to a new layer. We can change the order of the layer simply by dragging up and down and we can even delete that layer with a right click and selecting delete layer from the drop down menu there. Now some of the nice features that Pixelmator offer a superb performance, it actually uses the power of your GPU or graphics card so that this frees up your main computer CPU for other tasks. It also supports the pressure sensitivity features in Wacom's graphic tablets. Some of the other nice features include this handy Send To in the file menu where we can send this image direct to mail or back to our iPhoto library. We can also open direct from the iPhoto library as well by going to view, show photo browser and this shows us all of the images stored within our iPhoto library. A double click opens up the image into Pixelmator and when you've made your changes you can send it back to the iPhoto application. At such a low price Pixelmator really does offer up everything you would expect on a much more expensive application. Under the image menu alone, we've got access to levels, curves, exposure and brightness and contrast. And everything works exactly as you would expect. Going further into that image menu, we can colorize, alter the hue and saturation, or even desaturate to create a monochrome image. The filters offered up are equally as impressive. If I go into the tile filter here, we can perhaps change it to a kaleidoscope filter 
and here we've got a very nicely animated lasso to the controls and then I can even change the central point for this kaleidoscope filter to work we can change the angle we can change the, the count of the mirrors built into the filter and it all works superbly quick if you take into account that that was done real time and the filter has already been applied let's pop back into this filter menu again and we can even generate a star shine for example now again lovely animation loop in this control window uh, which you can position anywhere on the screen and then I can control the size of the star shine the cross scale the cross angle the opacity the width and also the epsilon as well which intensifies the length of these peaks and then I can position this wherever I want again all done real time with the minimal amount of effort and elegantly performed as well well thank you very much for listening there is certainly a lot more to this application than I've covered here but I just wanted to show you that for the small price of $59 or £38 you can get an absolutely superb, very elegant and very powerful image editor for your Mac. Thanks for listening, come back soon and check out more reviews on geekanoids.co.uk This video review is sponsored by ProPorter.com who design and manufacture a whole host of accessories for your mobile devices, including PDAs and smartphones, MP3 players and iPods, laptops, GPS devices and gaming units.